What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, NextGen720, and I am back with another video. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not following my Twitch channel, please do so. We're going to be having some big game of small talk. We're going to be having some exclusive uh, podcast shows, interviews. You know, we're going to be playing the games, you know, playing the same games, you know, live streaming it, and, um, and you know, doing interviews and podcasts and just having a good time. And also, like I told you guys, I'm working on a... A super duper Justice League Avengers type podcast with some really really big people uh, within the industry and the community. Um, I don't like to count my age before the edge, but um, but like I said, that's that stuff that I just told you about will be exclusive to the Twitch channel, uh, Next Gen Seven Twenty. The link will be down below. Follow it if you're not following it now. Anyway, on to the video. Now, some of you guys that are new to my channel, thank you. For the influx of subscribers that I got, um, go, you know, go through my catalog. Funny dude, you know, and today I am entertaining at the end of the day. But a lot of you guys are that are new may not know what I'm talking about. But with those that have been here from day one, you know what I'm talking about. I was the first pro Xbox channel here on YouTube saying that DirectX 12 was coming to the Xbox One. Remember me, and I remember me being attacked by IC Rhythms, Bond, and the weirdos, you know what I mean? And and, and the reason why I said that, because I, I kept going back to what Alvin Pinello said. Um, and when they were knowing people was going around saying, the, oh, the PS4 is 50% more powerful than the Xbox One. And Alvin Pinello said, there are things not quite known about our, about our system, you know, about our hardware. Um, we wouldn't give our biggest competitor a 30% advantage. You know, there are things we're yet known about, about our hardware. We have some of the smartest people working for us. We are the inventors of direct gigs. I kept thinking about that. Then it came out, you know, after not so long, maybe like four months or three months or so after the launch of the Xbox One, that Direct X12. They, they didn't say what it was going to, but, you know, we had the announcement of Direct X12. And I remember me doing that, you know, video and you know, me being excited. And me being attacked. I'm like, what the hell? So then Microsoft came out and announced that it was coming to the Xbox One. You know? And then after that, oh, it's well, it's well, the Xbox One is not gonna see that much of they only go they not, it's not gonna do nothing for the hardware for the Xbox One. You know what I mean? It's not gonna do nothing for it. And I kept thinking was like, damn. You know, so it's only for PC, you know. It's, it's not going to do nothing for the Xbox One. I kept thinking, well, damn, if my Surface Pro, you know, was, I'm sorry, if the Surface, yeah, my, I, have, I have a Surface Pro. If if the Surface tablet received a performance a performance boost from the new update, why wouldn't Microsoft hardware, which is newer hardware than the, we're talking about a tablet receive a update in performance, why wouldn't the Xbox One? Like, is it, like you know, that just doesn't make any sense. Then you had Albert Green, like, and you got here, you got Rich from Utah, USA. You Xbox kill me. The the it's not gonna do shit for the Xbox One. And meanwhile, Albert um, Albert Greenberg, shout out to Aaron Greenberg, was on a record as saying games that are CPU bound. We'll see a a, a, a fifty percent of performance boost. You know what I mean? Then you know the new thing is well, you know the well, developers have to use it. Direct X twelve. You know there's no guarantee that they're gonna use it. But you guys, the same people were saying that DirectX 12 is only, you know, is only, you know, is going to see the most, you know, performance boost on PC. And I agree with you. The Xbox One hardware is static. It's not changing. I get it. Uh, the, uh, you know, PC will see the biggest performance boost from DirectX 12. I get that. But then, like I said, I never said I'm not negating that. But uh, last time I checked, PC... In console, they share, I mean, they get about 99% of the same multiplex. So, this is what you guys want me to believe that the developers are going to use DirectX 12 on the PC and let these multiplex see a performance boost, and they're just not going to use, utilize it at all when it comes to the same game. Uh, Call of Duty Part 25 is going to see a performance boost on the PC from DirectX 12, but they're not going to use DirectX 12 on the Xbox One version. Same goddamn game. Now, I'm not saying it's going to receive the same performance yields. I'm not saying that. But you now you guys are saying that, well, the developer, ain't nobody's going to use this new shit. But you want, you know, they want to come out and believe that they're all going to use it for PC. Get out of here with that. That shouldn't even make any sense. So anyway, 
Brian Waddell has gone on the record today and says that Derek X, well, should put the end to this whole resolution game. You know what I mean? Um, and he basically was saying that, well, in, in his interview he did, uh, well, basically was saying that uh, the East Ram, you know, uh, the uh, Direct X11, uh, they had a crappy API for the East Ram. Either there was like, either you can, developers said it was a good way to use it or a really shitty way to use it. You know what I mean? Developers that you know, use it the good way more or less was able to get games in 1080p, and developers that use it the shitty way didn't get 900p, 720p, yada, yada, yada. So Microsoft, and I remember me saying this too, if you guys have been here from day one, that the, direct, the Xbox One was built to run future engines, next generation engines much better, you know, uh, I, and like it's, it's come out, it says it here, you know what I mean, Direct X11, you know, it was kind of shitty when it came to the Xbox One. You know, this motherfucker's built for Direct X12. Remember the slogan? Microsoft slogan, beta, beta tested in the future. So anyway, uh, he, Brad Waddell also goes on to say that Microsoft threw away that crappy API, received a new API for Direct X12. Yes? Pick it up. Um, you know, um, I, I've been in a minute. I gotta get it. Hold up. So, uh, so he said that the Microsoft threw away the old crappy API for DirectX 11, made a new one. I've done a video on this saying that Microsoft, the ESRAM on the Xbox One, received a 15% performance boost, you know what I mean? And also they came up with a new program, new algorithm thing that would um, automatically show developers a good way to use it, or the best way to use it, instead of them coming up with it on their own. So this is, like, this is awesome. Within this new API, they came up with this new program that's gonna show developers the best way to use the ESRAM, you know what I mean? So, you know, they won't run into any problems, you know what I mean? So, the whole 1080p, let's just say, you know, majority of the games, honestly, are that are, that come out on 1080p on the PS4 or 1080p on the Xbox One, but there are a few that aren't, but, but the big games have been, um, you know, the Destiny, the Call of Duties, um, you know, only one to date, that, you know, that's pretty new, the, is, is the Battlefield, I don't know what the hell, you know, that's 720p shit, but, um, um, and especially when the developers came out and said that, um, both the Xbox One and the PS4, PS4 version will be 1080p, you know what I mean, and it has nothing to do with the Xbox One's GPU, what people were saying, you know what I mean, uh, with the ESRAM, um, it was, you know, but anyway, like I said, um, Microsoft was currently always updating their, their, their dev kits, SDK kits, I'm sorry, and, but, if, yeah, so, you have a, you have a, a developer, Right here on the record saying now that, you know, uh, he's been very vocal, like I said, when it comes to Direct X12. He's has the first game, well, not one of the first games that are going to be using Direct X12, uh, Brad Waddell. But like I said, he is a developer, you know what I mean, who makes games, not some of you weirdos here on YouTube, you know what I mean, just, just, just be spewing out hate. Like, what the hell, like, what this YouTube guys and he... And the Reg X12, like, that's some of the craziest shit. It's Microsoft's API is there. The Xbox One is Microsoft's hardware. If the tablet received a performance boost, why wouldn't their console? Just think about that. How you say?